بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان ٹوڈیز ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ویریبل ڈکلائننگ بیلنس ڈپریسیشن میتھڈ وچ از کالڈ وی ڈی بی ان ایکسل دا وی ڈی بی فنکشن از این ایکسل فائنینشیل فنکشن دیٹ کیلکولیٹس دا ڈپریسیشن آف این ایسٹ یوزنگ دا ڈبل ڈکلائننگ بیلنس میتھڈ اور سم ادر میتھڈ اسپیسیفائڈ بائی دا یوزر The Excel VDB function also allows us to specify a factor to multiply the straight line depreciation by. Although the function uses the double declining balance method by default, it will help a financial analyst in building financial models or creating a fixed asset depreciation schedule for analysis. To calculate this, we require the initial cost of the asset and the salvage value which is the ending value after the useful life of an asset, the value of the asset 10 years and the periods 10, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Let's start calculating the variable declining balance depreciation. First we need to see the formula. Go to financials and here you will find here VDB. Now we have here some arguments. The cost, this is the cost value. Salvage, this is the salvage value. Life, this is the life. Start period, start periods is the starting period for which you want to calculate the depreciation in the same units as life. The starting period will be zero as we are going to calculate for the year one depreciation. So we will put here zero. Ending period will be the one. Is the ending period of which you want to calculate the depreciation is the same unit as life. So it means this is the one. We have some other arguments here. Factor. The factor which we will use here which is two which will be calculate the double declining balance method. So we will use here the factor 2. No switch means to straight line depreciation when depreciation is greater than the declining balance equals to false or omit it if we omit this do not switch so we need to write here true. So we don't want to switch it to the uh, straight line depreciation we want it as a double declining balance method. So you need to put here true. Click on OK and you can have here 20,000. If you want to see here the variable declining balance depreciation brings up here the double declining balance go to here the first year depreciation is 20,000. It is the same as double declining balance method. So we will make constant of these values in the formula and we will drag this formula to the end. So let's go here and press F4 go here press F4 F4 ok enter we will drag from the corner to the end ok now what you have seen here this second year depreciation the starting point we need to change here 1 the starting point we need to change here 1 enter here we need to change starting point two because we are calculating for the third year <coughs> okay and here we are going to calculate the depreciation from year four to year ten uh, our starting point will be here three and the ending point will be here m6 this this is the tenth year so enter good now if you want to see the depreciation is accurate you need to go to DDB here the second year depreciation is 16,000 go to VDB and the third year depreciation is 12,800 here 12,800 and for the further years 40,463 so let's see from 4 to 10 40,463 so our calculation is good here in the VDB function. 
now we will calculate the cumulative depreciation enter second year plus the first year now so on total depreciated value this value minus this value we will make constant this cell f4 enter and we will drag this to the end very nice i hope you like our today's video and please don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos thank you very much goodbye